we know in Baltimore what the standard is for y'all and expectations. Is it time? Disappointing loss, tough loss. Uh, Could have gone our way for sure, uh, but we didn't get the job done. 0-2. Uh, we uh, are going to play a 17-game season, and we will be defined by the next 15 games. Uh, so that's going to be our objective, to play the best 15 games we can, be the best football team we can be. And if we do that, then we're going to have a really good season, have a shot to win a lot of games and get in the playoffs and make a run. So that's what we have to do big picture. Uh, short term, we got to go back and look at every little thing, continue to clean up the things that we know we can clean up and get better at uh, that make a difference in games. And we'll work, continue to work very hard to do that. He didn't say anything. He literally said no, nothing. Um, but I'm on record. Everybody, everybody listening to the show, everybody watch the show, everybody that knows me knows I'm on record to say John Harbaugh has to go. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. it, it it's like it's one of the things where now it was two seasons too late, three seasons too late. Um, to your point, Keith, everybody's comfortable because Lamar made everybody comfortable because he's so good. You know, like he, he saved a lot of people's jobs. He's pretty much this franchise was not going, you know, the way that it, it should have been going until Lamar Jackson got here. Um, no man, you can't you can't challenge you can't challenge those two calls, and you know, and keep blowing these fourth quarter leads, these second half leads, and expect to have a job. Like you keep on people keep on saying, oh he said he won a Super Bowl. Like you know, Boston fired Terry Francona, man, and he he brought him in for his championship in hundred years. Like you don't have to keep these coaches around. Bill Belichick like, got fired. Yeah, you don't have you don't have you don't have yeah. to you don't have to you know be to your point Nick, to be have kumbaya and bake cookies like get rid of him like get rid of him and, and it's sad to say as a ravens fan but at this point you know you want to win a super bowl but what what would you rather have you know i, I guess you would have a super bowl but it, then john harbaugh gonna really have a lifetime job so now it's like all right get me to 0 4 so that he so he can get fired like if it's get him out of here like he, he you can't win with him I, i've been saying this like the, the we've reached out cap we reached out max on the john harbaugh you cannot win anymore with him he's he's a dinosaur to the game he doesn't understand clock management. He really never did. Um, and now is this even worse? Because them, them two challenges yesterday were utterly ridiculous. They were utterly ridiculous. Like, it's not even, you know, you, you challenge in it so you can, you know, if you challenge us, whatever, you win a game, we lose the game, whatever. That's the order, whatever, because this, 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 the game. No, it, it wasn't that for neither one. It wasn't that. It, it, you blew timeouts that you needed, that your team needed at the end of each half. You needed both of those timeouts. Um, He's doing so it every week. Yeah, and it's it's, it's and it last week too. He did, yo. He do it every year. Like it's literally it's a yearly thing with him. Like it, it, it's a yearly thing. I just don't. I just don't see it. I, I I don't. I don't see. You know, you got Mike McDonald two and up. Like you know, it, it, I just don't see it. I, I I don't see it. I'm trying to. I, I'm trying to remember. But yeah, I did, John Harbaugh has to go. To answer the question, so he has to go. He should have been gone. Like I, he should have been gone. He's holding this team back. Man. So, he, he so really you is. say. So you say he should have been gone. So what's the what's the underlying root cause? You remove John Harbaugh, does the problem remain? Because the people in, in charge of the coaching decisions decide that John Harbaugh is beyond reproach or beyond uh, reprimand with some of, uh, you know, it's, it's not just this season, like you said. How many times do we have to lose in the playoffs the exact same way? Mm -hmm. How many times do we blame it on Greg Roman and then blame it on Todd Monken? But John Harbaugh remains and – the people allow John Harbaugh to remain. How many times do we have to say this player sucks, this player sucks, but then you learn John Harbaugh had a key role in drafting that player. Then you have to ask yourself, wait, why does the special teams guru have all of this say-so in offensive line draft and fullbacks and so on and so forth? Who is giving him this empowerment? This ain't empowerment temple. He ain't Jamal Bryant. <laughs> always giving harbaugh all of this all this clout and leeway to do what harbaugh does the same Which people is, who traded Mor Mor morgan moses and let zyke up. <laughs> yeah so it's it's not, not just harbaugh. Not protect the investment it's not yeah. just harbaugh like we get we got rid of a line full of veterans zeitler moses simpson replaced them with players that clearly aren't ready and those players are homegrown who drafted them Right, they, who's drafted him? We went from a rock. We went from a wide receiver to problem to offensive line problem, dog. Like you can't, you can't make that we up. Still like, got went, the wide receiver problem. I mean, it, it's it's way better than what it was. I give you that. It, it's decent. It, I, I I can 
I, I'll take our weapons. I, I it's, it's, I'll, I'll take our weapons. I, I ain't with you. I'll take I'll it. We can give, you can give it a bait. Actually, no, I did say we need, we need a bonafide. Did you see Nelson one. yesterday? We need a bonafide number one. We do not attacking the ball. Not attacking the ball. Y'all not, not, attack not, not going to, uh, not y'all. When I say y'all, y'all already know what's up. I'm talking about like Twitter and like the Ravens fans who are homers right. and stuff. Like people aren't going to sit there and, 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 and sing Nelson's praises all off season on some kumbaya shit as if I haven't seen him his entire career. Like, I wasn't there in that three. playoff That's game. Like, me and Keith wasn't there in that playoff <laughs> game watching shit fumble off his hands. I see. Like, that. who do y'all think Nelson Aguilar is? Don't let Zay get hurt. It's a wrap. <laughs> We're done. Don't let him get hurt. Don't let him get an ankle sprain, bro. Because then we were, who are we relying on at that point? And no, we can't just throw the tight ends every single fucking play. People going to close off the middle eventually, and they're not the fastest of uh, position groups. They tight ends. You're supposed to get them on linebackers and safeties. They're not supposed to be like the people you throw to every single fucking play and rely on. Don't let Zay get hurt. It's going to get real spooky because we can't even get the ball to Zay in rhythm. There's times where Zay is wide open for plays 20, 25, 30 yards down the field. Why can't we get him the ball? Because Lamar's on the ground. Because Lamar's running all over the place. Who, who, who decided that pathway? You get rid of Harbaugh, I'm with it. But then, but who remains at that point? And, and what's the status quo that remains? We have to talk about how Eric DaCosta, most of his rookie class this year, was hurt. Was hurt. Inactive. We ain't getting a snap out of these people. I was, I'm was, i about to lose my cool. We ain't getting a snap out of these people. And, and how big the, did we say this draft was for us? I mean, if we're going to go Given young, Lamar's contract. If we're going to go young like we did, we kind of need these young guys to play. Right? And then why is it taking three, four years for our development pieces to actually develop into starting caliber players? And when I say starting caliber, to them, to any, I mean, Filet, he's starting. So I guess he's starting caliber, but is he ready? No. We don't need to be in the league. We overrate our development. We overrate EDC's drafting, development, Harbaugh's development. We ain't about that. Lamar is the answer. The Lamar and the vet. Now, I, I'll give you DC credit. Last year, he was amazing when it came to veteran signings. I don't know why we stopped doing that. It seems like when you go to that well, we kind of kind of did all right. Van Noy showed up yesterday. Like, we kind of did all right with, some, with the veteran signings. We said, nah, fuck that. <laughs> nah, we don't need no vets. Like, the team, the team that just almost was on the cusp of the Super Bowl, we don't let's need no bets. Let's, let's get rid of a, a good majority of them. Shit, we gave Lamar a, a past his prime Odell, and Odell was making plays for him. I said, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. We got we got Nelson Aguilar and Bateman. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you talk about three to four years to develop. I mean, you look at the Chiefs and their recipe, Trent McDuffie, rookie year. Damn, they all pro. Isaiah Pacheco, what he did. Rasheed Rice. I mean, the list goes on for a team that has a quarterback that gets paid a ton of money and they had to fill it in with rookies and they got it done. Uh, it was two quotes I took from John Harbaugh's um, press conference today. Uh, he said he's not aware of Zay Flowers getting less production in the second half. Um, which he's is, not watching the game. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because huh? <laughs> he's hold not on, watching the game. Hold on, Keith. To add to your point, the context behind that is Zay Flowers retweeted something on his Twitter yeah. basically saying that he should have got the ball more in the second half. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so that was John Harbaugh's response. So um, I'll just throw that quote out there first and then I'll throw the other one out. But to say you have no idea that your number one wide receiver is not getting – come on. Like, <laughs> how, how how else can you not have no feel for the football game? <laughs> and then the second quote he had is, by having more leads in the fourth quarter probably means that you'll lose more leads than most teams. Huh? Yo, come on, yo. Let's what? go to the next. Let's go to the next. Uh, he didn't say that. Yeah. Yeah. John said it. Yo, stop playing with me. Yo. Said this in the in, in the press today. Yeah, he this, said it. These are all quotes by our head coach of the Baltimore he said Ravens. If you the have a lead, to lead us to a Super Bowl, or who we still keeping around? Like it, at this point, it's a joke. Get him out of here. I'm tired of it. He, wait, 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 wait. He said, if you have a lead, it's more likely that you'll lose it because you have it. no accountability, man. He Yo, you ever heard something like that? He's I've never John. heard something like that. that. That's That's worse. Worse. Now, right now the fact That's crazy. that you have so many leads in the fourth quarter probably lends itself to you're going to lose more leads than most teams. So I understand mm. that part of it is the exact quote. 
So why not? Why not? Why 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 more leads in the fourth quarter mean you should win those games? Like why are you? I don't make it, uh, it. That that doesn't make sense. And to your points, though, Tom didn't say a lot of shit, but his lot of, it makes sense. You know, it, it it can relate. His his shit relates to the actual game. Like I want animals. Like, what he, what he, what was the quote? What he said? I want dogs. Like whatever he yeah. said. But you know, it, 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 sick him. yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. It, it you know it that relates to the game. That 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 directly relates to the game. You telling me you got this guy up here saying that? Come on, man. I'm not even gonna keep what he said, but I, that that makes no sense. That's that's uh, like to to with, with Nick said. That's that's malpractice. Seriously, that really is like you. I mean, you have no. Fit. Just, it's like you're not there. It's like he's not there unless he had a crowd yelling to throw a challenge flag. So he th- the only reason he did that challenge flag because they had the crowd. He had the crowd getting loud. That's really the only reason he did that challenge flag. He had no yeah. reason to throw what that do you challenge. Like a home crowd to do. Yo, right. we yeah. all saw that ball bounce. We Bunch saw that ball head. bounce. That Everybody saw that ball yeah. bounce. The only person that didn't see that ball bounce was John Harbaugh. He the only person that didn't see that ball bounce. Lamar told we him. We didn't even talk good. about the fourth and one where you put the tight end on the center, you get, you, and then you, you got Derrick Henry who have a split that, instead it, of just it, putting the ball in eight hands and letting them hand the ball off to Henry and letting eight go get the first. Because that's a hit. Like, that's why a are hit. we getting cute? That's because that's a hit, coach. Even if you hit, that's what I'm saying. You have found him say so on everything. Obviously, hard, but we've been saying it's hard, but maybe he don't. But yo, if you as a hit coach, you hear that call coming through the mic. That, that you would hand the ball off to Charlie Cola and shit. No, why not put the ball in the, in your quarterback hand or give it to Derek? What are you doing, man? And, and time out. And time out. <laughs> why do we keep he, he, why do we keep putting mid in position t- to make decisions? You know, Harbaugh. If you look, uh, you know his history of offensive coordinators. You know, it's never anybody that's innovative, top of their class. Uh, somebody that pushes the needle forward or the envelope forward, so to speak. Um, it's always guys like retreat guys, people that won't usurp his 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 uh his his position on a team, right? So yeah. you know, look at some of the names: Mark Tressman, Marty Morningweg, Todd Munkin. Nobody's beating down Todd Munkin's door, even after a great year in in Georgia. In college. Cam Cameron, Cam Cameron, <laughs> Greg Roman. You know what I mean, like. I could probably keep going, but y'all know my brain. I have some fogginess up there, but um, yeah, man, it's 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 really it's too much. Too much goddamn John Harbaugh. Oh, after yesterday, it was his very fog. But yeah, man, uh, yeah. Listen, it, it, why do we like? Why don't we have the best of the best coaching up Lamar? Like we talked about it over this summer. Could you imagine Lamar with a Sean McVay, a McDaniel? Shit, a LaFleur, I'll be happy with any LaFleur at this point. You know what I mean? Any McVay, any cousins, Kubiaks. You Clint see Kubiak. what they're doing Kubiak. in New Orleans. Oh, I'm so Clint Kubiak. Give me it again. Yeah. Yo, as, much, yo, as much as like, I, as when much, you say there's no other options out there, but John, it's options. It's always yo, another it's, option. Keith, as much as you hate the boy, if boy, if we had a Bill O'Brien offense right now, it'd be different. It'd be it'd, oh, it'd, yeah, it'd, it'd be it'd be a lot different, man. Like, you know, like, as much as we hate Bill O'Brien, he can draw it up. Yo, it's a lot of players out. Why not? Why like Scheme, I hate yeah. I hate that we got a special teams coordinator head coach. Give me an offensive guy. Or give me a defensive guy. I don't need a special teams guy. I don't. And, and if you're going to be a special teams guy, put the best people in positions to to inform you of decisions that um, you might not Didn't be well versed in. Yesterday, illegal, yeah. illegal. They lined up a league on the, on the, on the kickoff or something like yeah, that. Special teams know? has been horrible this year. Special teams has been horrible this year, and we haven't even talked about the fact that. Um, uh, over the summer, didn't they hire an uh, in-game coordinator for John Harbaugh and then decided to yeah. not they make that hire play. after social media kind of started was yeah. like, yo, this thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, it should yeah. tell you what you should it should tell you what we're dealing with. But you know, we can put it all on John Harbaugh. At what point at what at what point does Lamar say, you know what, I'm tired of this shit as a leader? And I'm not blaming Lamar, that's my guy. Um, but I need him to to start make him more of a fuss like because he because i know he's silently angry as, and mad as shit i could see it in his eyes after that bateman drop he was looking like yo that's why i don't throw to you yo so i i, I see i see the subtle signs of frustrations but at a certain point as the 200 million dollar dude you got to say listen steve i'm starting to get tired of this shit i'm starting to get tired of it because these fourth quarter losses is going on my jacket when they when they pull up my hall of fame sh- resume and my stats this fourth quarter shit ain't looking how it's supposed to. I'm giving people 10 point leads here, 15 point leads here, 20, and, and we letting this slip away repeatedly, season after season. Yep. When are we going to make a change? Because Lamar can't do it by himself. 
and 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 honestly, the players can't do it by themselves. But also, you know, the players like, yo, when are y'all gonna just say, you know, enough is enough? Not even with the hardball shit on the field. Roquan, where was Roquan yesterday? Did you hear anything about Roquan? I didn't. Where's Mr. Ray Lewis who wants to talk? I saw to Brock Bowers going off there, tight end. He was killing us, dragging people, dragging people and like he didn't play was one of, before. Where's Marcus Williams? Marcus Williams had one of the lowest. Marcus ratings. Williams can't get fucking lined up. That's why he can't. He's he's never oh, in the that, right place when he's his supposed PFF to. PFF rating was like, and I hate PFF, but it was in the forties. That's not good. Marcus Williams can't get even get lined up right, dog. He's never in the right position. To the Raiders. So y- this ain't the on, Eagles. Y- y'all on the defense. So let me just ask you: We uh, fired Billick for less. That's all. I'm. We fired Brian Billick we definitely for way did. less. We definitely fired Brian. Y'all fired Billick him for less. losing to Miami. Yeah. Y'all fired Brian Billick for way less. And, and yeah. listen, when we fired Billick, I'm sure there was people saying, "If not Billick, then who? You know who we chose? You know who the who yeah. was? A special teams coordinator from Philadelphia." Him and Jason Garrett. I remember. I about to say Jason Garrett was number one. He said, "Nah, I'm cool." He said, "Nah, I'm cool." But y'all won the defense. Let let me 